Good day, Grade 3s. Can you believe that another week has passed in this lockdown? So I want to say welcome to Day 8 of our Mathematics Online Teaching. Today we will be focusing on measurement and data handling. Today's mental math, you have two activities. Activity 4, write the highest number of first add up to activity five is number combinations so that's just a few sums that you have to do it will not take you that long then what else like i said we will focus on measurement and data handling so firstly we will look at measurement so there's a few concepts that we need to address when we think of measurement the abbreviations and what it stands for and what do we measure using that specific measurement so the first one is millimeter millimeter is something that is very small like an eraser or your pencil you can even measure your pencil in millimeter so the abbreviation for that is mm for millimeter then we have centimeter to measure something that is a little bit longer like a book or your pencil case your cell phone so cm stands for centimeter the next one m stands for meter we use meter to measure something that's a little bit longer like the classroom walls the walls in the house maybe if you have a very big television you can measure that in meters so m stands for meters kilometers km stands for kilometers and then we measure that in something that's very long that we cannot use our ruler to measure like the road that we drive on that will take us years if we measure the road in centimeters. The next one is ML for millimeters. Millimeters we use to measure liquid. So your can of cool drink, your juice box, your super M that you drink, we measure that in millimeters. Then something with more li liquid in it, we measure with liter. And the L stands for liter, like our 2 liter Coca-Cola or the 2 liter milk that we buy. Then grams. We use grams to weigh something that is not very heavy. Like a small pillow, your pencil, your cell phone, an apple, some sugar. So the G stands for grams. Then we have kg for kilograms and then we will use that to measure something that's a little bigger and that weighs more like a person so you weigh 23 kilograms then further in measurement how can we convert centimeter to meter grams to kilograms milliliter to liter so there i gave you some information on how to do it and how many meters is in one kilometer how many centimeters is in a meter and how many kilograms is in a gram or gram in kilogram then the next thing we will look at is data handling <clears throat> data handling you can remember we looked at some graphs and some tele marks so here on the left side of the screen, you will see your tally marks. So we have a lemon, an apple, a banana and a coconut. If we count our tally marks of the lemon, we will see there is five tally marks. And then on the graph, you will see we colored in five of the lemons. Then if you look at the tally marks of the apples, we see there's only two apples. So we color in two blocks at the apples. At the banana, if we look at the telemarks, we see there is 
six daily marks. So we will color in six blocks at the bananas. Then if we look at the coconut, we will see there's only three tally marks, so we will only color in three of the blocks. Then if you have some questions on your graph, we will go to the right hand side of our favorite fruit and the number. So if they give you an example like, what is the name of the graph? The name is our favorite fruit. If they ask you, what fruit is the most popular? Then we must look which one has the most blocks colored in. That will be the strawberries. If they ask you which one is less popular, then we look at the one that has the least amount of blocks colored in. And that will be the pear. That is only two. If they ask you, how many fruits that they use to measure, then you must count the apple, the orange, the banana, the strawberry, the kiwi and the pear all together. So there's different questions that I can ask you, but I'm sure you will find it easy to answer the ones that is in your activity book. Today, also remember to revise your multiplication table because on a Friday we always write a small test. So maybe your mom and dad can ask you some multiplication tables just to see how well you did. Or you can set up a small test for yourself. Homework will be Mathematics Activity Book 1, page 17 until page 20. You can find it on the D6 communicator, but always remember that no child will be disadvantaged if the homework is not done, as this work will be revised again when school starts. Then some important information, the memorandum of Activity Book 1 will be on the D6 communicator on Monday, 20 April 2020, for you to go look at and see what you can do where you did something wrong, or do some revision. Then you have your mental maths memorandum that you can mark that you had to do yesterday. So just go through the answers and see where you did something wrong so that you can correct it or and that you can do revision to make sure that you understand what you did wrong and how to fix it. 